Well, hi, everybody. My name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and please don't forget to subscribe to me. Today, I'm going to be doing a bronze and blush declutter. I'm going to go through all my items that I have and tell you if I am keeping them, if I am not, and explain a little bit about them. Please get comfortable, grab a snack, and let's get right into it. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. It also has sunscreen in it. Even though it is a foundation stick, you can use it as a bronzer. I grabbed the 410 Cocoa. I have had this for a while, but it is still extremely creamy. So I am going to be keeping this. It is so gorgeous, easily blendable, and I absolutely love this. You can get it right from Walgreens or any drugstore. It is very, very affordable. I have this little sample size of the NARS Laguna. It is very, very faint. It does give you a little bit of glimmer. It has a cute little mirror, and here's what it looks like on the inside. It has like little gold particles in it. You can see right here. I just think it's too light for my liking and it is a little bit chalky. It gets splotchy. So I am going to get rid of this, unfortunately. This one's a little dirty. It is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I have mine in 03 Macchiato. This one has a mirror as well. It is so creamy, buildable, blendable. It's nice and juicy still. So I am going to keep this. I absolutely love this. It's very, very easy to work with. Next, I have this from Tarte. This one's in the shade Breezy. It is a cream bronzer. My mom actually got this one for my birthday. I love that it has a mirror. It's very, very easy to work with. It is super blendable, very lightweight. It gives just the most perfect sun glow look. So I am definitely keeping this. Now this Soul Body Bronzer in Medium. It is a face and body bronzing balm. It is still nice and creamy. I really love this. It smells amazing. So I am going to keep this. I have this pretty vulgar in bronzed B113. I am honestly shocked. It is still this pigmented. It is really, really old. It is a really good formula, but it's very, very old and expired. I've had it for a few years now, so I'm going to declutter. And I have this kimchi in to mocha. It is a contour, the dark and light together. I usually just use the darker side. It's good for contouring and bronzing, so I am going to keep that. Here's one of my absolute favorites from LIS, which stands for Love Yourself. It is a No Limits Matte Bronzer in Light. It is such a nice, buttery, soft bronzer. It's easy to work with. I am going to be keeping this. Next, I have the Marc Jacobs Glow Away Bronzer. Kind of reminds me of like a deodorant stick. It is in Tantastic Glow Away. I put some on my arm. You can see it has some shimmer in it. I never seem to reach for it. The formula is good, but I am going to declutter. From L'Oreal Paris, I have the True Match Lumi Bronze It. You get the perfect sun-kissed bronze. I believe I got this from Walmart. It is gorgeous and it has that beautiful shine in it. Definitely keeping this. This is definitely my top three favorites. I have Glowish by Huda Beauty. Mine is in 2 Medium. It is a soft radiance bronzer. I really want to like this. I keep using it and trying, but it's getting hard pan no matter how much I try to use. And with scrubbing my finger in here, I only get a little hint of color. I'm very, very disappointed. I wish this was a little better quality. I am going to have to declutter. Then I have the Too Faced Limited Edition Hot Cocoa Bronzer. It smells amazing, just like hot cocoa. I use it just about every day to set my cream bronzer or just to use on its own. It is super amazing. I am definitely keeping this. I have this guy from Becca. This is the Endless Bronze and Glow. This one's kind of like a three-in-one. You have your highlight, your blush, and your bronzer all in one. It is nice, it's beautiful, but it's not my favorite and I never reach for it, so I'm gonna declutter. Another favorite from Charlotte Tilbury. It is their Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's just a very easy compact. You have your bronze on one side and your highlight on the other. They are gorgeous on the skin, very natural. I love this to death, never letting this one go. Next, I have two from Marc Jacobs. This one is a three-in-one. This is in 200 Tantastic Glow. It's an Omega 3. 
It has a mirror. It has blush, bronze, and highlights. They're just not pigmented. They're below average quality in my opinion, especially from all the drugstore options that I have. So I'm going to declutter this. This Marc Jacobs is a beautiful large size. It is in 106 Tantalize. It is the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. And trust me, it does smell like coconut. It smells amazing. I love this guy as well. I've been using it for probably about six months now, maybe more. I love it so much. I'm never letting this go. Then from Kat Von D, I have the shade Light Contour. The Lucid and Sombre it has a mirror, and then you have your you have your light powder at the top, powder bronzer at the bottom, and they are gorgeous. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but it is worth it. I love, love using this. I am keeping this in my collection. Next, this is from Tarte. It is a little bit different. This is the Let It Glow um, Smitten Getting Toasty Blush Authority. The top, when you open it, has a little mirror and highlight. Then you can just swivel them open. Then you have your highlight, blush, and bronzer. But I think they're just okay. Nothing I ever reached for, maybe, but a couple times. Nothing I'm head over heels for. So I am going to declutter or give it to somebody that can make better use out of it. Next, I have this e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. I had a little swatch. It is nothing magnificent. And it is a little bit blotchy. So I am going to declutter. It might be expired. I feel like with the Putty Bronzer, sometimes you have to use them a bit more. Or they dry up extremely fast so I'm just gonna declutter next from ColourPop I have the coconut beach press powder bronzer it is the one up here on top of my cute little horse head I am obsessed with horses if you can't tell this bronzer is gorgeous I am definitely keeping this in my collection it is phenomenal and is very affordable and I have my number seven bronzer in the shade maple to me, it is a very light bronzer and it has a lot of hard pan and it barely has any pigment. I am going to let her go. So I will be decluttering nine bronzers and I will be keeping 12. So I definitely got rid of a decent amount and I'm definitely more satisfied in having these because maybe I will start actually using them and going through them. On to the blushes. First, we have this Cream Milani Blush. This one's in the shade 120 Coral Crush Cheek Kiss. I just personally think that it's just too dark for me. I do like how pigmented they are, but this shade is just not for my skin tone, so I am going to declutter. And in the future, I'm gonna find one that just fits my skin tone a little bit better. One of my absolute new favorites is from Wet n Wild, is the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Blush. My shade is in the shade Peach Bums. Look how glowy it is. It has gold undertone. It is super shiny. And when you add this to the top of your cheek, you don't even have to add highlighter if you don't want. It is just a beautiful summer kissed glow. So I am obviously keeping this because this is one of my absolute favorites right now. I reach for it just about every day. And then I got sent from iMethod the Natural Looking Rocks. It is an all over face blush color. You can use this for your lips, your cheeks. It has a blush on the top and a brush at the bottom. It is not my favorite formula. I do have others that work a little bit better and I'm trying to cut down on how many items I have so I can start going through them and not just being a total waste. So I am going to give this to a friend. How cute is this packaging? It is a ColourPop blush in the shape of a heart. This is a pressed powder blush. The shade name is Flirt Alert. It's just like a little hint of pink. It is beautiful. I just picked this up because I heard such amazing things about them. So I am going to keep this in my collection. Next, I love, love these Glossier Cream Liquid Blushes. This one's in the shade Dusk. And I have two in Beam. They are super easy to work with. They easily blend out for a nice natural looking tint of pink. They are so beautiful and it's a little bit of glow to your cheeks. I absolutely adore them. I will always have at least one of these in my collection. For Milk Makeup, I have this cute little blush in Work. It is cute. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this shade in pink. I am going to declutter this. 
one of my brand new blushes from Cover FX. It is their monochromatic blush duo. It has a matte and a shimmer right by each other. As you can see, these colors are absolutely stunning. You can mix them together or use one as the blush and one as a highlighter, whatever you want to do, but they are phenomenal. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but hella worth it. I am keeping this. And I have this She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. This one's in the shade Rose Ritual. You can blend this out so easily. It has a nice shimmer to it. And I think the applicator is extremely unique. I love using this blush. I'm definitely keeping this one in my collection because it's very beautiful and very affordable and very easy to use. And I have this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I absolutely love, love, love the packaging. I have this one in the shade Love. This shade for me is way too dark. I have a different shade in this that I absolutely love. I'm going to keep that shade and let this one go. Next from Physicians Formula, I have their Butter Blush. It has such a nice shimmer to it as well. It's very natural pink. This one is in Spicy Mauve. It's their Muru Muru Butter Blush. I absolutely love the way they smell and they are literally like butter. You can just put them on and blend them out super, super easily. I'm definitely keeping this. This blush is from the Tinkerbell ColourPop collection. This one is super gorgeous, shimmery, and I've never felt a soft, most buttery blush in the world. I'm definitely keeping this. It is super, super pretty. And from ColourPop, their Styx Blush. I put a bunch on my arm. It's very splotchy, probably expired. I had it for a while. This one's in Cool It. I think the concept is awesome, but I just don't think it works anymore. Probably expired. I'm definitely going to declutter. From Kim Chi, I have their powdered blush. This one's in Taylor Blush Pinky Rose. You have a light pink and a more of a warmer pink. You can either mix them together or use them separately. I think the lighter pink is gorgeous. Sometimes I mix them together. I think they're gorgeous. They're affordable. Definitely keeping it in my collection. From Benefit, I have their Georgia Peach Blush. On my skin tone, it just seems more like a highlighter. I don't think it shows up very well, and I'm just not the biggest fan ever since I got it. I tried it a bunch of times. Just not a fan. I am going to declutter. This has been my ride or die for a few years now, at least. I know it's very dirty. It's because I've had it for so freaking long. It is the Out of the Blue Light Up Vanity Blush Palette. It's Beam of Light. Got your highlight and your two blushes. It is gorgeous. And the top does light up. You have a little button on the side. I could never let this go. It's been my favorite for years now, so I'm definitely keeping this. I have this MAC blush in Melba. They are so pigmented, super buttery, easy to work with. Definitely keeping this. I'm going to keep this MAC blush as well. This is in Fleur Power. My favorite shade for MAC blush is the Desert Rose. I take that back. The Melba is more of a peachy tone. This actually has not been my favorite, so I am going to give this to a friend so it doesn't go to waste in my collection. Another blush from ColourPop. Can't you tell I love ColourPop? This one's in Vogue. It's their pressed powder blush. It is such a gorgeous pinky mauve color. I definitely can't let this go because it is just the most beautiful shade of pink. From Hank and Henry, I have their shade BB Rosa. It is their blush stick. It is the most gorgeous baby doll pink cream blush I have. I am definitely keeping this in my collection. From Pixie, I have the shade Beach Rose. I feel like for me it's more of a bronzer, so I'm going to declutter it. This Maybelline Fit Me blush is absolutely stunning. It is very glowy. It is so easy to use. I have been reaching for this so, so often. I am definitely keeping this. From ColourPop, I have their Enchanted Mirror Pressed Powder Blush. I have had this for a while. Their quality is amazing if you want to try it, but I've just had it for too long. I'm going to finally declutter this. I have from NARS their Famous Orgasm Blush. I definitely love it. Just has so much gold shimmer in it. I think it's so, so stunning on the face, especially in the summer. 
It is phenomenal. I'm definitely keeping this in my collection. And I have a stick blush from Honest Beauty. I just don't think it's the best quality. I'm not the biggest fan. Unfortunately, I'm gonna let this go. From Believe Beauty, I have their cream blush in Doll Face. I have had this probably going on almost three years now. It's definitely expired, so I'm finally gonna declutter. From e.l.f., I have two of their monochromatic multi-sticks. See on the right side, I have more of the pink, and on the left side, I have more of the coral tone. They're just so glowy and beautiful on the skin. I think they're gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna keep them. I have this Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is their blush in 02 Caring Coral. Now, I don't understand why the bronzer got hard pan and didn't want to come out no matter how much I scratched it out, but this blush is beautiful. It comes out no problem. It is one of the blushes I grab for so often. It does have a little crack. I'm not too sure why, but it does have such pigment payoff and the color is gorgeous, so I'm definitely keeping this. I have this blush from Ciate London is their Marbled Light Dusk. It is gorgeous. I have had this for so long and I think it's just time I need to declutter it, but the formula is really good. This one's in Sailor Moon Color Pop. This is another pressed powder. I just think it's too hot pink for me. It's just, I'm not a fan of the color, but it is, trust me, really good quality, but I'm going to declutter. Here is an Essence Powder Blush and Be Fitting. I just don't like the color, but the quality is beautiful. I have two in two different colors. I'm going to keep one and declutter this one. This is in the shade Beloved, and this is the one I'm gonna keep in my collection because it's only a few dollars, and the color and quality of this blush is out of this world. Last but not least, the number seven blush. It is in Damson Mist. It is their beautiful powder blush and it is hella pigmented. You gotta be a little careful, but I love it and I am gonna keep this in my collection. So for blushes, I'm getting rid of 14 blushes and then I'm keeping 22 blushes. So I would say today was a good declutter. So I'm definitely getting rid of a good amount and also keeping a good amount. I hope you are enjoying my declutter series. Please stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching my video. And it would mean a lot if you gave a comment, a thumbs up. I love you all. Bye, y'all.